Good morning, guys. I hope you've had a great week so far. Uh, school is hopefully becoming a little bit more tolerable and a little bit more of a groove for you guys and not quite so stressful. I know that we are slowly getting the hang of it in our house. Um, in our readings this past week for Ironworks, we came across a passage in Matthew 7. And I want to share that passage with you guys today. Uh, as we had some really good discussion about it on Tuesday morning. Now, Matthew 7 is near the end of the Sermon on the Mount. I love that passage. It's one of the largest sections of teachings of Jesus that we have. And today we're going to look at chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. And here's what it says. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. Now, most of you have probably heard this passage before or some paraphrase of it. I think we oftentimes miss some of the depth of Scripture when we hear it over and over again, right? It becomes familiar to us. And I think this passage falls into that category. Some see this as a division between the lost and the saved of the world, right? Jesus is the narrow gate, and, and the, the wide gate is the way of our enemy. But as you look into the passage, you know, there's another application as well. And I want to share that with you guys this morning. This passage is also talking about the journey that people are walking in this life. The broad gate and easy path, they're the way of the world. Enjoy life, indulge as much as you can, look out for you. Those are the hallmarks of people on that path. And sadly, Jesus tells us there's many people on that path. And as with any path, it's important to know your destination, right? For those heading down this path, their destination is destruction. I'm confident that if people were able to take their eyes off the pleasures of the journey and, and see the coming destination, man, they're going to quickly look for another path. But our enemy is a way of blinding people. You know, the other path, the narrow gate, the difficult path, it's a life that's lived by the commandments of God. It's not easy. It's not about us. It's not a joy ride even. But when you look towards the destination, eternal life is what is ahead for those on the narrow path. By living a life of sacrifice and serving others, it might be a difficult journey. But the reward is in the destination. Sadly, when Jesus looks over this path, he says those who find it are few. Many people are going to live worldly lives focused on the path right in front of them and not looking ahead to the destination. So how do we make sure that we're one of the few who find the narrow gate? Just a few verses earlier, Jesus actually tells us, he says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. To find the narrow gate and to walk through life on the difficult path, guys, we must seek after God with all that we have. A total surrender to his plan in our lives is what will keep us on the right path. When we try to tell God that we know how to run our life, we can do it better. We slip back onto that easy path that leads to destruction. Guys, my heart and my prayer for you today is that you commit yourself to Jesus and that together, today, we decide that we're not going back to the easy path. Instead, we're going to lift each other up, we're going to watch out for the edges of the path, and we're going to encourage each other to keep walking on the difficult path through the narrow gate into eternal life. Guys, have a great rest of your week. Know that I'm praying for you, and pray for those that are in your circle as well, that we can all stay on the right path.